What's your name? I am Michael Johnson. I am a member of the Muffin Fort Marine Association and the Western Regional Vice President of the association on the West Coast. What is the association? Association is a veterans organization predominantly established in 1965 to recognize the first African Americans to go through Marine Corps boot camp, which was separate at Montfort Point in Camp Lejeune, Jacksonville, North Carolina. It was segregated? Yes, it was. And they had a segregated boot camp from 1942 to 1949. But were the troops segregated or integrated? The troops were also segregated. Marines only allowed the African Americans to train at that camp and when they got assigned overseas they were in the ammo depot companies. They were not allowed to serve in integrated units at that time. And when did that change? That changed in 1950 when President executed order and integrated the military that all branches of service were allowed to be integrated. And that was in 1950, and that's when they shut down Camp Moffat Point, and that's when the African Americans went to Paris Island and San Diego to train with the regular Marines in boot camp. What's this award that's coming around? Our Congressional Gold Medal is going to be awarded to the surviving members of those men who went through Moffat Point from 42 to 49. It is in recognition for their hardship and their steadfast devotion to duty under critical situations to including segregation and at the same time going through World War II as well. How many World War II vets are with you? At the present time we have somewhere in the neighborhood of probably to 135 to 150 surviving World War II vets that we can account for at this coast time. Coast to coast? Coast to coast. And how about here in Southern California? Southern California, I have a rough list of about 25 to 30. And again, that list is growing as we get more publicity about the Congressional Gold Medal being awarded. A lot of family members and former Marines left their service after two or three years and went home and continued their lives and didn't realize the impact that they had bestowed upon the country at that point in time.